So let's take a look at question number two from homework seven. This is coming out of section 2.4 and this is for the fall 2014 semester. So it might be a slightly different number, um, but this is the basic idea of this problem. They're giving us f of x equals 5x squared. And the first thing they want to know is the slope of a secant line through, um, through these two points that they're giving us. They're asking it for the the secant line that's going through 1 f of 1 and 1 plus h f of 1 plus h. And the way that we find the slope of a secant line is we're going to start with the second y value, so this f of 1 plus h minus the first y value, f of 1, and we're going to put it over the first or the second x value, so 1 plus h minus 1. Okay? So that's how we're going to find that secant line. So what we need is we need to find what f of 1 plus h is. So f of 1 plus h, I'm just going to plug in a 1 plus h into my original function. So that's going to be 5 times 1 plus h squared. What does that equal? That's 5 times 1 plus 2h plus h squared. If you're not sure about that, you need to work on some, uh, some basic algebra skills. If that's something that you don't see where that came from, um, shoot me an email and I can get you some resources to help you practice some of that. Because the faster you can do these things, the faster you're going to be able to solve these problems. So this gives me 5 plus 10h plus 5h squared. So that's this piece of the puzzle here, and I'll go ahead and fill that in. So 5 plus 10h plus 5h squared. Now I need to subtract f of 1, so that means I need to plug 1 into my original function. So that's 5 times 1 squared, well that's just 5. So now I've got 5 plus 10h plus 5h squared, that was my f of 1 plus h, minus 5, which was my f of 1. And I put that all over, and you'll notice here we've got 1 plus h minus 1. Those 1's cancel each other out, and that's just all over h. And so now I can simplify. 5 minus 5 is going to be a 0, and this h, well that's going to cancel this h out and cancel one of these h's, and that's going to leave me 10 plus 5h. And that's my answer for part A. That's the slope of the tangent line through those points that they're giving us. And because the points have an H in them, we've got an H that's still here. So for part B, what they're asking for is the slope of the graph at the point 1, F of 1. Well, what we need to do for the slope of that, let's take the limit as H approaches 0 of 10 plus 5H. And that, that just means plugging the 0 in where the h is, with the limit to a number, it's all simplified. Um, all we need to do is plug that 0 in, and we're going to get 10. So that's what that answer is going to be. And then the last thing they're looking for is the equation of the tangent line at 1 f of 1. Okay, you probably remember either from earlier sections or even from, um, even from high school, that you have a formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, and that's the formula we're going to use here, but to make things simpler in my math lab so that you don't have to do any kind of expanding or multiplying, I want to go ahead, before I even fill in this formula, I want to move this y over here. So the formula that we're going to work with is going to be y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. And whenever they're asking for an equation of a line in my math lab, unless they specify a different format, this is actually probably the easiest way to enter it. So now we just need to fill in the blanks. So this part is the slope, and that we found in part b. That was part b. So y equals 10 times x minus x1, well that's just the x value here, so it's going to be x minus 1, so this was just the x value they gave us. 
and this y1 is the y value they gave us. So this is going to be plus f of 1. But I can't plug in f of 1, but we figured out what f of 1 was up here, right? f of 1 is just 5. So go back to the work that you did on step A. You're going to find your value for f of 1. And you can actually type this just like that into my math lab. You don't have to distribute the 10. You don't have to combine like terms. You can just type 10 times x minus 1, make sure it's in parentheses, plus 5 into my math lab. And then you don't run the risk of making an algebra mistake. Um, you just get to plug everything in. It will accept that answer. So when you're doing equations of lines in my math lab, sometimes it's helpful to think of this formula here, where I moved that y1 over to the other side. It's helpful to think of that formula because it saves you a little bit of time and potential mistakes with minus signs and distribution and things. So in the long run, what we have here is the slope of the secant line. What we did is we needed f of 1 plus h, and so we figured out what that was and plugged it in. Minus f of 1, we figured out what that was, plugged it in over 1 plus h minus 1, which simplified to just h. We simplified some more and we got 10 plus 5h. When we wanted the slope of the graph at that particular point here, this 1 uh, f of 1, we took the limit as h approached 0 of whatever we found in step a. So when I take that limit, I plug a 0 in for the h, and I get a 10 out. And finally, the equation of the tangent line, we rewrote the normal formula that you learned in high school just by bringing this y1 over. So we get y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1, and we just filled in the blanks with the information that we had from earlier and using the coordinate that they give us to plug in here. And so that's how you tackle number two on homework number seven.